Today, we are Group 3 from the section of CEIT-37-701P. Our proposed title is Web-Based Charity Donation System for Helping Hands Pinas. The researchers are Enteria Nelvin, Laguyo David Lloyd, Gabriel John Shari, and Mangrobang Russell. Introduction. Provide a web application to help foundation. Our web application, titled We Donate, provide a system that is easy and user-friendly, web-based donation. A web application that is easy to use and available anytime. This system is developed to facilitate and expedite the transaction of a user. A convenient way of donating food, item, cash to the charity foundation. By using this system, we can say that the process of each package will be convenient. A web-based application system that is effectively efficient and provide proper documents of donating items, food, and cash transaction. We donate will streamline the logistic of donation and simplify the general of donating. Statement of the problem. The existing donation system lacks the integration of new technologies and services. Some of the websites have a fixed value in terms of money donation, and some of them stick to the old design technology and with security. We donate has a newer technology and assures the donor personal data is secured. Donations are usually done on site. Some of the charity donations are paid due to COVID-19. To prevent this risk, charity foundation use website and application to prevent having contact. There is little to no documentation of donated items, food, and cash. Our donated system provides a database that can track all your donation and have a proper authentication or authorization to improve admin and user security. Objective of the study. Because of the pandemic, a lot of possible donators and their donation is not distributed properly to those in need. The restriction in physical contact and crowd limitations makes on-site donations hard to carry out. Most of the donation system that exists on the internet, at least in the Philippines, requires the donor to do an on-site donation even though they completed the donation process on the foundation donation system. It's redundant and inefficient for both the donator and the foundation. In terms of accepting donations, the process of the previous charities is a bit out of relevance and makes the overall performance of the foundation subpar. By implementing the latest technology, the web app will make donating effortless, convenient, and straightforward. Scope and limitation. Scope. This study is focused on the development of web application that simplifies donation for donors. There's an admin panel that can access in different access levels, such as admin is allowed to delete, update, manipulate data, also to post and close events. Users level module is access to view the posted events and partner foundation donate anytime top selected donation events. Only verified user can use this application. Limitations. The user who does not have an internet connection cannot have access to the web application. The proposed system can only run on desktop browser and Android phone browsers. Software model. Our chosen software model is a combination of waterfall and agile. The reason as to why we've chosen this is because we want to ensure that the research and gathering strategy field requirements, and system design go in smoothly. We want to make sure that we get this interaction with our client, get everything that we'll be needing to create the web application for them. For the development of the website itself, we've gone for a agile approach. Since we'll be using frameworks such as Laravel, Node.js, and some of its modules to speed up the development of the proposed web application. System architecture. System architecture of our web application is rather simple. And since we are using the Laravel framework, 
we strictly follow the model view controller architecture. We have here the users, the front end, and the back end. Now, our proposed web application, we donate, collects data from the users using its user interface. Now, depending on what the user wants, we can send specific requests to our web server. The web server is responsible for the data processing and the management of the request. Now, depending on what request it may be, it can manipulate data within the database or even save files within our file system. Afterwards, after the processing of the specific request, we then return a response to our front end. The front end is then responsible on styling this response that then shows up, that then returns the results to the end users. This is the prototype of our proposed web application, we donate. Now we have left some text space for holders for the meantime, as we will be um, collaborating with our client regarding as to what we should place onto these specific um, areas of our web website. Let's try to scroll down. We will include um, a short introduction onto what is we donate, um, what is it about, and then we will then provide some of the feeding programs, fundraisers, and gift giving events that the that our client um, would want for their system. We can also see here what would be their mission, what would be the mission of Helping Hands Pinas, um, what is their vision, and lastly, for the footer, we have the Facebook and Instagram that connects directly to their Facebook and Instagram. Now let's try ahead and click the sign in button. Now, after pressing the sign in button, you can simply um, input the email address and password. We will be implementing some Facebook and Google login as a way on using our system. That way we can implement two-way verification and ensure that the user of our system is an actual human itself. Now, once you have signed in, we can greet our user through their username or perhaps using their first name. Um, for the meantime, this is um, the content of it, but for the making of this video, this will be the content of it. But on the following days, we will be providing a, an updated um, look of our website. So we will be um, providing you a link to this um, prototype, um, perhaps during the start of the presentation so that the, um, the panel can pretty much get a look onto our system. And now we can click the sign out, and then simply click the icon. Then afterwards, you can just simply click if you want to see what's about, what programs are there, and then some of the missions. That will be all. And thank you for your time.